What's going on dudes, it is Colossals here, welcome back to another video after like 4 fucking months. I'm back, uh, it's been a long journey to get where I am, I'm actually in a new flat um, with kind of a new setup as well. Uh, you guys probably can see by my background from my videos, if you look at some, uh, some of my earlier videos you'll see a completely different setup than what I have right here. I also had to give my computer away to service for a couple of days and that was you know, a delay for my streaming but I finally started streaming we streamed some Mafia 3 today so if you're interested in that there will be a link down in the description below and I'll be mainly streaming Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone. Hopefully you guys were doing amazing thank you for waiting and sticking with me throughout my, uh, my absence but today we're back. Today is the day and what is what is better than starting off with a new skin Kerrigan. Kerrigan has received some changes when I was gone. Uh, she is a beast now. She one of, she's still one of the best characters. She had to be nerfed uh, because her, um, her, her win rate went through the roof. But um, we're going to be explaining some of the new builds today. And we, we, we're going to be basically talking about uh, how she changed and how she is good and how she fits in today's meta. Even though... It's like she doesn't have a staple like position. She just, she kind of, she's kind of back to where she was before all their work. So let's go. Oh yeah, and that's the new skin for her. What do you have? Hey, say hi to the camera. Oh good. This is Otto. This is my best friend. My best friend, because I have no friends. All right, boys and girls, you find yourselves on the Warhead Junction. Actually, the latest map, that's actually perfect. We were showing off the new skin, the new map, and the new build for... Uh, I mean, it's kind of a new build, just because one of my old builds got buffed, and that's how, that's actually one of the changes that was made to Kerrigan. Um, her her Q bill was nerfed, and well, it wasn't nerfed. Her, like its functionality is still the same, um, but um, it was just made a little bit more kind of like like you need more skill. You, you, you need to be a little bit skilled to actually use the build now. Um, right. So her Q ability is called Ravage. You can jump to a target, deal some damage, and if you kill that target, your um, cooldown is reset. So you can already see how that's very, very good for kind of like closing gaps and just finishing off people. Uh, your W ability is called Sharpened, sorry, not Sharpened, but Impaling Blades. It puts down um, this like, circle of blades that after, I think, an, a second, um, it erupts from the ground with... Uh, with like you know with blades and you basically deal some damage. So if, if I put a place down there, you can see bam after a second that um, it erupts from the ground with with blades. And one of the main things about playing Kerrigan is, is learning her Kerrigan combo, uh, which is um, placing this down and then pulling people back with your E ability, which is basically just just like three claws that uh, kind of three claws that pull enemies back. So you, so basically you pull people back into your sharpened blades, not your sharpened blades, but your pain blades. On level one we picked up sharpened blades, we just increase it, increases the damage. You just effed up my combo, bro. You switched the positions with him. All right, I'm not even going to do anything about that. Uh, yeah, we picked up sharpened blades, which increases the the damage of our W of our impaling blades by 30%, I believe. Yeah, no, it's 25. It used to be 30, and they, they nerfed it back to uh, to be 25. Got him! So you can see, I killed um, Mediv, and my Q got instantly reset. And our trait is called Assimilation. Um, ooh, this actually, Kerrigan actually knows how to combo. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it's called Assimilation, basically when you deal damage with your, with your basic attacks or your abilities, you gain um, a pretty substantial shield. War has deployed, so now we will be, we should be able to actually solo this Kerrigan. Uh, actually, not solo, but me and... Uh, we should be able to get and uh, get that Kerrigan with Artanis. Uh, on the sub range, we're gonna go for. <sighs> it's either Fear of the Swarm or. Actually, yeah, let's go Fear of the Swarm. I like Fear of the Swarm just because um, it cleaves. So you can see now my basic attack cleaves for 60% of the damage I deal from basic attacks. I'm gonna rotate two here because the enemy team is just like all super low. 
Um, so if I can... So here the combo picks up a kill on the enemy Jaina. She was just hopeless in that fight. So you can see, when I'm attacking now, okay, I'm gonna tr Oh, I just missed that combo. That would have been a kill on that enemy Kerrigan. But um, we just missed that by, by, by an inch. Seems like I'm having a little bit of lag just because of, um, because of my all my recording software and everything. Oh, this... He's so, so... He's so low on, on health. That Gul'dan, though. Kill that Gul'dan! Kill Gul'dan! Yes! Good job. Okay, I'm on my way to the middle to try to help out my friend and team. Um, I lost my nuke. That's basically what this map is all about. Where you going? Where you going, Kerrigan? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get that while the enemy team uh, and friendly team fights. Uh, you, there we go. I got the warhead back, and now we're gonna clear up this, um, clear up this creep, and move in and launch this. Uh, basically, uh, what is the objective of this map, which is just, just this nuclear launch that I picked up before. This, you know, the, the basically the nuke. Launch it down. It deals massive damage to uh, structures and, and minions. Uh, pretty, pretty low damage to. Um... Right, here's the, the here's the just putting down sharpened blades as an escape from a hammer, and we're able to secure her escape on my way to the bottom lane. Just because I think, I think Medivh actually pushed it in very, very much. On the stuff range, we're gonna go for assimilation mastery, um, allowing us to regen our health and mana where we have uh, when. Uh, we have our uh, assimilation shields up, and we basically will, be, will have them up almost all the time. Um, what Fury of the Swarm on level 4, what it does for you, it basically allows you to clear waves without even using a single ability. And that's very good, because you're able to preserve your cooldowns and be ready for a team fight. So I'm gonna rotate up top again, uh, not top to, but middle again. Uh, but that was a little bit too greedy of me. I'm gonna grab the Sipika before it gets destroyed. And here we go. I'm gonna wait for my cooldowns again because this Gul'dan is pretty vulnerable. Looks like I won't be able to... Oh, sh oh. That invulnerability was just so well-timed. There we go. Okay, so we are going to get that quite easily. We're gonna get a couple of kills, actually three kills, and now we can uh, go and pick up some of the warheads that enemy team just team fight it for, but I mean they, they team fight it, but they lost and now they're gonna give up the whole almost objective. Uh, I'm gonna get that warhead, try to get up to the top lane to regenerate some health with my shields by the way. Uh, looks like the friendly team ha does have some trouble with picking up the rest of the Uh, with the rest of the nukes, so I'm gonna try to rotate and help them. Ah, oh, shit, he actually hit me. See you later, Medivh. What you doing up now? Maelstrom level 10 is going to deal uh, just some crazy AoE damage around me. Um, Damn, that was actually uh, a misclick by me. I didn't mean to do that. Am I? Oh, I actually have one. I can't. I have two seconds up until my combo is up. There we go. They didn't even need the combo. Didn't even need it. God damn, man. All right. Uh, we're going to rotate up here. Try to hit that. Move out of the way. And you can see it comes down. Bam. Deals massive damage. Uh, destroying structures and minions almost instantly. So how Kerrigan was changed? Uh, some of her talents were swapped around, uh, her basic attack damage was increased, uh, her health was increased at, at the beginning. Um, I don't think they um, they touched her shields at all, uh, but mostly it was her talents that got crazy. Um, and I really like that, uh, just because uh, before the before the actual before the actual talent change, I'm gonna actually try to save our uh, our Anubarak here, because he, uh, this 
This Medivh is circling. It looks like he's going to be trying to go for the kill. No. Okay, he's just going to let our Anubra go, not even risk it. But yeah. Um, the only build you actually went for before was the Q build. And pretty much it was the only choice. I was like the on only one trying to pick something else, you know? You know how it is sometimes where you, you try to be different. So here comes the combo. I did miss the combo. I'm going to try to pop my ult, but I was actually feared by enemy Gul'dan. Gul'dan, one of the new heroes I'm, I have to go over with you guys. You might be asking. You might be asking right now, Kolo, why didn't you put one of the new heroes? Like there were like five released when you were in here. I'm like, yeah, sure, but what's what's better than playing some Kerrigan with you know with the new skin and everything, showing off how she was changed. Almost seventy percent of the entire game changed. Like that's how much changed over the over the five month period that uh, five no four months period I wasn't here. Uh, which, which, if you think about it, is pretty, pretty nuts, pretty crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna rotate to the middle, um, just to try to kill, just to try to get some kills. Uh, enemy Medivh actually super good at countering me. Um, so I'm actually gonna go into my Maelstrom form. He's gonna, he's gonna be killed. Oh my God! Don't kill. Oh. I would have been so pissed if he actually survived that shit. Right. Uh, enemy Jaina, uh, a little bit out of position, but she actually goes <laughs> right back into line uh, after seeing our engage. Uh, it's fine. Uh, our Enderbarak, a little bit of a trouble. I'm gonna go for double strike on this level range, kind of like a... Nice fear from the enemy Gul'dan. It's not gonna do too much, uh, but definitely going to um, be enough to scare us away from, from this fort. There we go, nice swap, it's gonna secure a kill, I'm gonna actually gonna here try to land a combo on the enemy Jaina, I, I, w I was successful in doing so, but our, our attack got closed in the cocoon, and wasn't able to help with that team fight at all, and we were almost fully wiped, god damn it, god damn it team. We got Mer Mercam, one of the Mer new Mercamps pushing up in the top lane. Rainer recalling where Kerrigan is right next to him. Holy crap. That was actually lucky she didn't go into that. Um, what's my impression of the new map? I like the Warhead Junction. I hate the Braxis Holdout. Um, the Braxis Holdout boss seems really bad and it is just super, super bad. Um, and it's not even worth picking up just because it deals so so much damage to heroes, but like no damage to structures at all. And this is what it's supposed to be doing, you know. It's not like a Punisher, you know, which is supposed to be dealing, um, which is supposed to be dealing like you know hero damage. It's actually it's an actual boss that's supposed to be somehow you know of of, of a sieging tool. You know what I mean? I'm gonna try to pick it up. I'm gonna get cocooned, and this uh, Anubrak is actually going doing the, the wrong thing in fighting the enemy Anubrak just because he can just disengage at you know just whenever he, he wants. Right now, I'm gonna try to pick it up, but it looks like the enemy Mediv is going to not decide to pursue um, the enemy Kerrigan going for Ultrask. What the fuck? Uh, enemy team here picking up the vision. Almost. Alright, whatever. Right now, actually, very good with me because he speeds up my attack speed very much. Uh, here's one of the best talents for uh, Kerrigan uh, aggressive defense, increasing our shield uh, generation by 100%. Was actually changed. Lingering essence was re was removed, which which like increased the duration of our. Um... I'm not even gonna go in there. Uh, friendly Anubarak is in the web in the, in the web the web blast cocoon whatever he's gonna get raked. Not even gonna go into that. God damn it. Uh, they overextended and they paid for it. Uh, yeah, so it used to be lingering essence that uh, increased the duration of our shields. Now it's actually built right into our level level seven talent, assimilation mastery. Uh, it is a little bit of less of um uh, of an increase, but it's still sometimes you know 
It's still, you know, it's still, I think it's still by 50% or something. Is it built into this or this? It's one of the talents. Or it might, it might actually be... It's built into one of the talents, I remember. Um, I remember they completely removed it. And I think it's, yeah, it's built into uh, Assimilation Mastery. And I think it's 50% um, that it's increased by. Enemy team kind of trying to roam, trying to get a kill here on the enemy, on the friendly Rainer. Who was very, very patient and actually did not get killed, which is good. Um, we are kind of circling around trying to find, you know, the Strangler, which is actually Gul'dan. Gul'dan is a Strangler here. I'm actually going to go in on the Kerrigan. I'm going to go up here, try to activate my uh, my ultimate. I'm going to get polymorphed and killed. Our team doesn't even do... Like, where is this Artanis going? Like, understand he wants to kill Gul'dan, but he's supposed to be with us because now he's going to get web blasted, separate from our friendly team, and probably pre pretty much probably killed. Um, friendly Rainer actually are actually just um, dodging that um, Ring of Frost. That's gonna save his life. He should be re-engaging now because the Artanis is re-engaging as well. But this is actually bad, just because they have Medivh. Oh, now he overextends. Artanis is is running away. He's gonna get a burst of shields. Not sure if that's gonna be enough to keep him alive. And uh, looks like he he's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's gonna be enough to keep him alive. He just on on the last possible second. Oh, and a very nice kill on the enemy Jaina. Last possible second, he popped his trait and was able to survive. <sighs> not doing too well, guys. Not doing too well, boys. Uh, my damage at not levels that I wanted to be. Again, but again, that's what uh, what's what it's supposed to be the, the Kerrigan combo. And how the, how this build extends the Kerrigan combo is you want to use uh, as many basic attacks. You want to weave in as many attacks as possible um, when when you can so I'm gonna try to dodge that and I'm gonna clean up this camp again actually it wasn't a camp and uh, they're circling around the top lane right now uh, our and it was right there that's fine, I don't really care, give a shit. Artanis is fighting with Anubarak against two members of the enemy team. The enemy Anubarak still hasn't used his escape, which means chasing him is pretty much pointless. Uh, the enemy team rotates middle and basically just gets a kill. But we do get a kill on uh, enemy Gul'dan on the other hand. There we go. Very nice. I'm, I'm, I was actually baiting the enemy team right into me, just so they would pursue and you know, and basically searching for a the kill there. Um, the enemy team kind of greedy right here. Very, very greedy. If they do get comboed by me, they're gonna get wrecked. Very nice dodge by the enemy. Nubarak is gonna save him. Our Nubarak might fall just because he's a little bit not careful. Look how much shields I have. They're trying to separate our team. Here's a combo on the enemy Anubarak, but our Artanis is gonna get taken away, out anyway. I'm gonna mount up and quickly make my way away because when my shields uh, wear away, it's going to be pretty bad day for me. Uh, just because my my health is not that high. Um, friendly Rainer in a little bit of a posi bad position. I'm gonna try to stun uh, whoever is chasing him and uh, maybe help him. Next blades will be my. Actually, no. I, I'm gonna go for generation um, shield generation. Uh, actually, disengage will actually kill the enemy uh, Anubarak very, very nicely. Uh, I'm gonna try to chase after the after they go down there. I'm gonna get killed. Burst from enemy Jaina just 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 crazy. I, I totally forgot. I gotta be honest with you. I totally forgot about Jaina there. Um, I was so like 
you know, I, I have my bloodlust in my eyes, trying to kill that Gul'dan. I can't forget about Jaina and her uh, crazy burst damage. Uh, actually, Jaina was one, one of the change characters as well. We will be playing her, we will be explaining the changes. You need to be out of here and you're dead. And you just gave him another nuke. God damn it. God damn it, Hammer. This actually should be an easy game for us, but... Again. Not doing the best uh, my job myself. I haven't played Kerrig in, in a little while. I thought it would be much easier. But it isn't. He's actually able to sustain... He should be able to sustain through all this uh, if he stays in, uh, you know... In an actual melee range, if he, but this Rainer just going way too much, too, way too deep in. Not sure what he's thinking about about uh, her life. Uh, enemy Artanis, uh, sorry, friendly Artanis wants to die. God damn it, this goddamn four seconds. There we go, got the kill. Ugh, that was just a crazy engagement right there. I'm not sure if we should have won that as well. I mean, they stayed, they stayed, overstayed with their welcome. That's why they were punished for it. Uh, we got one more nuke laying somewhere on the ground, and I'll try to be the one to get the kill right here. I wasn't able, but just because of the shields from the enemy, friend, enemy Anubarak, and we should be able to get quite a substantial push in here. Just because the enemy team is all dead, we should be able to just push almost up until the core. We are level 21, so we can withstand quite a lot of damage. I'm gonna try to combo. Oh my god, he just, he just, I think, saved the enemy gul'dan from an imminent, imminent death. I'm gonna try to focus him as soon as he's out of the bubble. Activating my uh, my combo as soon as that goes. Now trying to damage the enemy Jaina. That uh, I was actually successful in doing so. Um, now our <laughs> our actual our Nubarak might actually fall. Uh, on my way to that. That combo wasn't even necessary. It looks like this is gonna be a good game. Are you, you're gonna see another change right there to um, uh, to the Heroes of the Storm, uh, which is, which is w was made right in the last patch. Uh, MVP screen, kind of like similar to how uh, Overwatch does their MVP. But it's gonna be a victory. We win that game quite nicely. Hopefully, I wasn't too rusty on the commentary. Artanis, our MVP, four deaths, five kills, thirteen assists, but most of the damage taken in the game. Yeah, that was a crazy game. That was a nuts game. Um, I hopefully you guys enjoyed it a little bit. I'm gonna actually um, I vote myself. I'm actually better than anybody else <laughs> just because people are pretty um, lazy, I guess, when it comes to actually voting. Almost level 11 with Kerrigan. We've got 256,000, which should be just one longer game. Siege Master. So you can see now you have those you know, just like those little titles: MVP, the bomb, Siege Master, uh, Dominator. If you have the, the most damage, um, actually Dominator is the most damage. No, it's the most damage taken, I believe. Might be, and then Painbringer is the most damage in the game. Pretty cool. I really like this system. Uh, it doesn't work well, uh, but it still needs some work. But it's a very cool system. Please rate the configuration of your team. It was alright. Wasn't bad. Are right, we gonna go over the build again? Uh, I do believe this is the only build you can go for with Kerrigan. Uh, so you go for Sharpened Blades or the Black, because the enemy team did not have too, ma too many auto attackers. Actually, they have none, besides Kerrigan. But Kerrigan is not even that scary of an auto attacker. So if the enemy team doesn't have too many auto attackers, you just buff up your damage with Sharpened Blades. That's going to give you even more survivability because, you know, because of the shields you generate uh, while dealing damage. And also, uh, you can go for block if there you ha if there's a lot of like auto attackers like Vala, Rainer, Illidan, 
uh, Butcher and stuff like that on the enemy team. You can go for a block and get some more survival survivability that way. On level 4 you, uh, well, I go for Fury to Swarm. Some people go for the Psionic Pulse just because um, apparently it gives you more damage output, but I don't really see how that goes. If that gives you 60% of your damage done, even at even if you're attacking for 100 an 80 level one no it's actually 100 level one it's still 60 damage every hit which this this only gives you 36 every second um, and you attack i think more than once per second uh, it's just i think a little faster than once a second so this actually p pumps up a lot uh, you know better numbers but the trade-off is that you don't have to be there to you uh, know the Sanic Pulse just is there for the five seconds. It just deals damage and just goes away without you having to risk yourself. I like Fury of Storm just because it then later on in the build actually synergizes with one of the other talents. Level seven we went for the assimilation mastery and increases the uh, dura the duration of assimilation. There we go. So inc increase the duration of assimilation mastery by, by 100 percent This used to be crazy like uh, i think assimilation gave you uh, for six seconds and that increased to 20 seconds which is which is like crazy what, what is it like by 200 or more more than 200 percent 250 something like that <laughs> it's maths on the spot you know i can't do that <laughs> i mean i can but uh, so now this gives you just 100% more, which means you're going to be getting it for 12 seconds instead of, you know, it's crazy 20 seconds and stuff. And, uh, you know, you, do, you no longer have Lingering Essence, which gives you 20 seconds. You just have the Assimilation, assimilation Master, just gives you 100% more dur duration. Plus, you, while Assimilation is active, your health and mana regeneration is increased by 100%. So... Again, very very nice uh, health health boost. I think your mana is uh, your health regenerates like six per second, and your uh, mana by three per second. Um, so if you increase those, you know, by by two, it's it, it kind of gets uh, kind of crazy, uh, up to almost like regeneration master stack kind of thing. Level ten, you want to go for maelstrom? It's still better, uh, even if you're going for like a down, uh, like a sieging build. Uh, the ultra lesk. <sighs> Just doesn't give you enough. I just feel like it's. I feel like it's too easy to kill. It's way too easy to kill. It, do, it does pretty significant, pretty respectable damage, but just easy to kill. Too easy to kill. Level thirteen, I went for double strike, which again synergizes with your fury the swarm. If you buff up your main attack damage, all of basically the whole cleave is gonna get empowered by your by your double strike. Um, so if you're in the middle of a team fight, four people around you, you pop your combo, you and then you you know. Suddenly you deal so much damage just because of the amplification and the, you know, the cleave damage. On level 16, I went for aggressive defense, 100% uh, more, more shields gained. And level 20, went for Omega Storm, which was uh, increases the size of my Maelstorm and also gives me more uh, shield generation. Uh, I just kind of, you kind of see how I go for just 100% see shield generation and kind of increasing my damage, level 1, level 4, and just kind of here and there. So yeah, that's my Kerrigan build, you can, you know, you can you can swap around level 20, you can go for both of the storm if you feel like you're getting uh, chased a lot, if you feel like you're getting focused a lot, you can change that uh, to if both of the storm instead of a mega storm. Next blaze is always, always, always a good pick. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, if you did, you know, you know what to do. Leave that like rating. If you haven't enjoyed it, leave it leave a thumb down and tell me why you didn't like it. You know, uh, always, always. I'm always looking for uh, constructive criticism. I'm actually planning to do this full time now, so I'll be here streaming almost every day. I to take two two days two days off just to kind of catch up maybe with my um, uploading schedule of, of the YouTube videos. Um, so, but now I'll be here full time. Uh, so you guys can reach me at any time you want. Leave me comments, leave me feedback. If you want to play with me, tell me. We might be able to play together if, if you're on the same server. I'm actually on the Europe server. Um, but um, yeah, that's it. Awesome to see you guys again. I'm all, I'm so excited to be back and to, to kind of re... Uh, actually not restart but start this journey i was never able to kind of uh, kind of focus so much of my attention just full on attention on this and now i'm happy that i can and i'll be doing a lot of stuff so hopefully you guys are excited as i am and i'll see you guys next one peace on the motherfucking streets Bye.